This is a needed update on baby play mats because I really want to help you make the best choice for your family. I have some updated information to add about the puzzle play mat and a new play mat to add to the mix. At the end of this review, you will have two highly recommended play mats to choose from. In the last review, I concluded that material play mats were not practical at all, and I implied that the puzzle play mat and the foldable foam play mat were a close tie, with my personal preference being the latter, the foldable foam mat. I can now tell you that I'm not a fan of the puzzle play mats at all. As soon as my daughter hit five months, she started peeling off the, the puzzle play mat apart and peeling off the print, which became a choking hazard, and began in, um, eating these interlocking edges. It is now a fun game for her, which is impossible for me to stop as long as the mat is out. And um, last time I mentioned that the puzzle play mat is a mission to assemble and deconstruct, but something I didn't mention last time is that you cannot use the play mat outside on the grass as the pieces sit lopsided and therefore won't interlock. With the amount of pieces you, you also need to have a decent sized play mat, it can become very expensive. So with all these extra cons added to the, the cons list of my last play mat review, in my opinion, it knocks this play mat off my recommended list. So it looks like the only remaining option from my previous review is the foldable foam mat. But good news, I have another great option for you to choose, the double-sided Bolu baby play mat. In summary, this is basically a classier version of the foldable foam mat. This double-sided foam mat has a more sleek finish, so if your guest area is the only space you have for your child to play, then it is very nice to have a classier play mat out when you have guests around. This play mat is smaller than the foldable foam mat, so it usually fits in more spaces. This mat is amazing as a permanent mat, yet it is super light and easy to move anywhere else in the house, but note that it doesn't fold up into a portable, compact carry bag like the foldable foam mats. But it rolls up like a carpet, so I can't imagine it being uh, practical to take with you on outings. Personally, I absolutely love my new double-sided play mat. It looks classier, it fits better in the space we have. I love having both play mats, but if I could only have one of them, I would still choose the foldable foam mat because you get the most out of it. It comes with us everywhere. It is so much better than a picnic blanket when you get sand or grass soil on it. It is much easier to quickly dust off. If you don't plan on ever taking your play mat out with you, then the classier double-sided play mat is great for you created a full comparison of my two favorite and highly recommended baby play mats. I have a picture comparison of the two as well as close-ups of the mats so you can see the different materials or finishes and see what I mean when I say a classier finish. I also have a written comparison of these two mats with a lot more extra detail so you can go to jdaniel.org to you know, see the nice little table that I put together and the pictures that I have for you, or you can continue watching this video where I'm gonna to quickly touch on the different things. Pros and cons, starting with your pros, this one is extremely practical and this one is extremely large, which could be a pro or a con. As I mentioned, this mat works best as a permanent play mat. Your foldable foam mat can be a permanent play mat or you can fold it away into your little compact square, put it away, have it out the way, enjoy a baby free space for a change or you can take it with to picnics, beaches, parks, your friends and family. Both are super easy and light to move around your house and this one anywhere. Another pro is that they are actually both double-sided. This one is called the double-sided one because it's the main feature um, but this one's main feature is the foldable one which is why it's called that um, but it's still double-sided. The ink on both of these are non-toxic, they're not going to irritate your skin so they are well irritate your baby skin so they are safe for your child. The next point is that these foam mats really protect your baby's head. You cannot go without a play mat. You do not want your baby learning how to crawl, learning how to sit and fawning on a carpet or tile. It is extremely sore and um, you know I've had some accidents where she hasn't been on the play mat and it's not fun. So you really need this for your baby. I'm going to need my laptop for this. So um, they both are cushy, cushy enough to protect your baby's head but hard enough for your baby to 
push up the floor etc etc so anyway here they've got here an xpe micro air cushion arranged in honeycomb formation for a cushioned rebound um this was also xpe foam but i think a different variation so they're not identical this one is cushier so there's a slightly softer landing for your child but the benefit of this one being a bit more um, thin or firmer is that it's slightly easier for your baby to learn how to crawl on your foldable foam mat has a more sheen or plastic finish still lovely um, but compared to your double-sided one which has a more yoga mat like finish i'm gonna try my best to show you a close-up of the different textures um, but there is a beautiful nice picture comparison on my website so you can go look at that too So you can see it really has that classier finish. Both are super easy to clean. Even though you saw those little grids in them, you would think that things might get stuck in them, but they really don't. So easy to clean, so that's not a problem at all. To quickly wrap up the remaining pros, which are the same for both, you're looking at waterproof, BPA, phthalate free, phthalate free, Something free, go check my website. Uh, latex and formaldehyde free, antimicrobial, hyperallergenic, non toxic, eco friendly, antibacterial, anti noise, good resilience, color vastness, and odorless. This material is super amazing if you have pets. It really is your most hygienic option. If I have to, I can try to squeeze out some cons. Um, this one arrived rolled up, and when it arrived rolled up, if I just used this print, I would have had no problem, but because I wanted this print, it was rolled up the opposite way for it, so the curves, the edges curved a bit, so I had to roll it up the reverse way and let it set for a few hours so that it wouldn't curve. This one was very large, um, but if that is a problem, there's this fantastic option for you. Another con is, this one's not practical to travel with, but not impossible. You can't put your sausage uh, rolled up mat in your car um, if you have to, and um, this one, although it is amazing, you can even take it on a plane, uh, it's not as sleek and classy as this one. And then lastly, I could say that I wish there was more prints to choose from, more, more pretty pictures. Um, but yeah, they, these cons are really, you know, minor and these are so helpful. I love them. I feel like I really have found the perfect play mats for our little ones and I think I've given you everything you need to help you make the best decision and help you save money. Little ones can cost a lot of money and as parents we always feel like we need to get them everything we can to help them grow and develop as best as they can and give them the opportunities they need to learn. So I really hope that this helps you. If you think it did and you'd like to share it with others, please give this video a like, a share, a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you can catch the next review.